All right, so let's quickly talk about this new Halloween banner that we just got on Global because I've been seeing a lot of people out there ask whether this banner is worth spending stones on because at least on the surface, it looks pretty good. It looks very tempting, right? So of course, to answer that question, we do have to consider a couple of different factors. Number one, you know, the contents of the banner is uh, very important, whether the featured units are any good. And number two is what can we expect on global in the near future and whether those banners are better than this one. So starting with the first factor, let's uh, pop into the scatter here and take a look at the featured units. We got the Int Majin Vegeta, the STR Goku slash Gohan, uh, AGL Transforming Cell, the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku, STR Kid Buu, Tech Kaelin Khalifla, and uh, STR Videl, along with a couple of SRs. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven featured Dokkan Festival exclusive units. And as you know, we expected, uh, they are some of the more recent, some of the better TURs in the game. So as a whole, the value on this banner, I would say, is quite good. Quite good. I mean, Majin Majida, the Goku and Gohan, and the AGL Cell are still... I would put them in like the top 10, maybe top 15 at worst TURs in the game, right? So these guys are still very good. And then the uh, Fizz Goku, it's no joke, especially when you get to Super Saiyan 3. He is still very, very powerful. Same thing with the Kid Buu. Um, Killing Khalifla, I was never like overly impressed by, but they are good at stacking. They are good on longer events. And of course, Videl is still a beast on the right team in longer events as well. So uh, yeah, a good banner overall. I think the value is there, especially if you need a good number of these units, right? Let's say you're missing like four out of seven, then I don't think it's the worst idea to do a couple of multis. And on top of that, we do have this one-time discount of uh, 40 stones for a multi as opposed to 50. So maybe just do that one multi, test your luck a little bit and uh, see what happens, right? Because once again, this banner does have a lot of really good Dokkan Fest units. But with that said, we have to talk about the second factor, which is what's coming around the corner. And as you guys might know, we have uh, two of the, I mean, maybe the best TURs in the game right now coming to global in about a week from now. JP just got them last night. And of course, I'm talking about the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 from the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. These guys are... I mean, I know the word is overused, but it's accurate. They're insane. They're insane units. A very good case to be made. They are the best TURs in the game right now. And uh, they're dropping on the 27th. So if you guys want those, you know, gammas at all, then you don't have to wait very long. You got a week to save. And if you want to have a good amount of stones for them, then you don't really want to be spending stones on a banner like this with a lot of good units but no new units, right? So um, if you guys want my opinion, if you guys want my recommendation, of course the choice is ultimately yours, but I think that as solid as this banner is, as much value as it provides with all these great Dokkan Fests, you gotta save for the Gammas, guys. You gotta save for the Gammas. And not just the Gammas, actually. We got the uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, lab coming soon with all new heroes units in November we got uh, LR uh, Trunks and Vegeta as well we got you know LR Golden Frieza uh, LR Mersumasu and a bunch of great units most likely coming before the end of the year so within the next couple of months global is gonna be getting a lot of very very powerful units that are all gonna be better than any of the units on this banner so um like i said it's a good banner you can't really go wrong with doing some summons here but i don't think it's the best idea if anything do the one multi if you really want to summon you just gotta 
scratch that itch, then do the one multi, do your discount. You know, that's good value as well. And then for the remaining summons, we are getting some tickets, some free tickets through missions, which I think will allow us to do at least one free ticket multi of five tickets. And then on top of that, we do have these ticket packs, which aren't looking too bad because for the second pack, once you you know unlock it by buying the first pack, you get a level five attack skill orb for each type, right? Which is really good. And on top of that, we get nine tickets plus uh, six tickets there. So 15 summons. It's not amazing, honestly. I would have preferred more tickets, but it's not bad. So uh, with that said, I'm actually going to quickly uh, just yeah, block the gameplay so I can buy these tickets. We'll do a couple of multis and then we're gonna call it a day. But as far as yeah, my recommendation goes, if you want my opinion, I think uh, you gotta save for those gammas, man. Those gammas, I mean, I've been seeing some showcases. I've been seeing their performance on various events and they're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. They're way better than any of the units on this banner, even though, once again, there are some really good units on the Halloween banner, none of them com uh, can compare to the Gammas that are coming, so yeah, that's just how I feel, guys. Let me know in the comments what you plan to do with this Halloween banner. Is it going to be a complete skip? Are you buying tickets like I am? Are you doing the one discounted multi? Or uh, are you going to whale out, which I don't recommend, by the way, so... There you go, got our tickets. Let's uh, pop over to the ticket banner. We'll do three multis. As far as units I need, I do still need copies of the Majin Vegeta, the Goku and Gohan, the uh, Cell. Um, I think this guy might be rainbowed. He's definitely rainbowed. Uh, I do need one or two copies of them and Videl is rainbowed. So, I mean, a Dokkan fits a banner that has like or featured units I need is pretty rare. So for me, like, there's value here, right? So let's jump in. First, take a multi. Feel free to jump in for a group summon with me as well. So I might give you guys a second. Get your games ready. There we go. Pulling down. And we're going to go together in three, two, one. Let it rip. Okay, so we're, we're staying base form. Um, I think we're at least guaranteed an SSR. At the very least, a double screen crack will be great. Okay, never mind. So, <laughs> at this point, all I'm hoping for is a featured unit in these three ticket multis. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, so you're guaranteed an SSR. It's, it's not necessarily going to be a, be a featured SSR, unfortunately. But uh, the worst thing that can happen to us is we get like 30 40k baba points which i guess i guess i'll take um we did we did get the skill orbs from the second pack so those will be useful regardless of how the summons go but uh it'd be nice to pull one like usable unit in these three multis okay so second multi nothing we got one more there we go Gotta get like a uh, Hercule Ambu at least, or oh, Tien and Jiaotsu. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, so we're getting a featured unit. Hopefully, it's a uh, Cell. I think that would be the best case scenario. I wouldn't mind another Goku and Gohan. I wouldn't mind a Majin Vegeta. Uh, I'll take anything at this point. So let's see it. Let's. Uh, okay. Super Saiyan Trunks and a cell. Let's go. Okay, that was the best case scenario, actually. That was the best case scenario. I would say he's the best unit on this banner. I think that's not really a hot take. I, I think most people would consider this guy to be the best featured unit. Of course, Majin Vegeta is still good. Of course, Goku and Gohan is still good. But this guy, this guy is a monster. So... There you have it guys, not a bad return for our investment, we did at least get one usable dupe and uh, I don't think I'm going to spend any stones on this banner because I want to have as many stones as possible for a summoning video for you guys once the gammas drop, so 
Um, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, good luck on your summons if you plan to summon. But once again, I, I think you probably shouldn't, but it's up to you. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna do it for me. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.